about Colorado. What what is that? Oh, uh, why they, they do my boys like the that? Game. Oh, yeah, yeah. What know, happened? They so got Deion booked Sanders, for those chains uh, in the locker room. Yeah, they came out here to play at UCLA, I think, right? And then they all uh, they stole like all their jewelry and shit. Just trying to figure out what who was okay, it. Okay, so tell me the whole thing. What happened? I have no idea what you guys are talking what? about. All right, so Someone got robbed during a game. Let me let me break it down. So jewelry. first of all, we got the Colorado team. They the iciest team out of all of them. What sport and what football? Football, Colorado College. Deion Sanders' son plays on. You the guys team. pay attention to college football now. We pay well, attention Deion's to what's in the, the, in the, the, coach, in the so uh, Deion Sanders is the coach. So yeah. you guys pay attention to him. Well, it's like he a, made a, a trendy thing for the. They came from an all black school and they. Took the whole oh. team to Colorado. Now they're playing in the Pac-12. We might need to start with him with Deion. You know who Deion Sanders is? A, f- a athlete? Was Prime he a football time. player? Okay, okay. No, Deion he Sanders. did both, right? No, no. Deion yeah, Sanders. Oh, no, that's too. Bo Jackson. No, he did Deion baseball Sanders too. Is Deion Sanders wide receiver, right? One, no, he was a cornerback. Cornerback, cornerback. One of the greatest day. cornerbacks. He was like the flashiest. Everybody wanted to be him. He popped his shit. He was like the Floyd Mayweather of football. Rapper. Big yes, chains, so yeah. big cars. He used to get endorsements. Everybody smash the like button right now if you're engaged in this conversation. Bop, okay, bop, bop, keep bop, going. Bop, bop. He's one of the biggest, right? So all of his career, they known him for being so flashy, whatever, whatever. Now he started coaching. Mm-hmm. He started at a at a black college, uh, right? Jackson State. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson State. State. He started at Jackson State where he took their program and brought so much lights and attention to where their views went up, their 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 they got better players, their donations. Yeah. People were actually going to the he games had real more and more. He had every effect. It's the Deion Sanders. It's the prime time effect. Me. He yeah. would have everybody come to the games. Now this college, Colorado, seen it and they snatched his ass up. Brought him to Colorado, unlimited budget. Bring your team, do whatever you want. You know what the, you know what he did. And his son, homecoming and game, he had Little Wayne perform. Yeah, they got hella nil. They have more views on the Colorado game, damn near as they did than the Super Bowl. It's kind of out of touch. He could have got like Little Baby or something, right? No, not out of touch. Nah. It was because he does what he does. You got to okay. think it's a legend with a legend. I'm man. talking about Pride now. Do, do these kids college students these days? Yes. They really know about Wayne. But it's like not that? about the college students. That's not who you're trying to get. Okay. You're trying to get the people with the money that want to donate to the school. Oh. It's not about getting the views. You want the people with the bags. So now you're selling out uh, like sweets in this motherfucker, like you had a Lakers game. To a college football team. Okay. The city is making more money now that he's the coach. Yeah. So that's where we start at. Now, all of the players have jury because now players get paid to play football in college. They all have iced they out protect. All 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 Cartier watches jury. Yeah. And they're known for flexing on the other team. But especially. they're not getting paid. They're just getting it. They can get endorsements now. They right? get endorsements. Okay. But on top of that, him and his school son was on a KFC commercial. The, the whole team. Him and his son was on a KFC commercial. Oh, okay. You know, that's how Deion big Sanders and his son. And his son. Okay. You know what I mean? So they're the GOATs. And everybody like, we can't wait for, you know, like LeBron and his son. They can't wait for your son to go to the NFL or whatever. You know, so now he's flexing. They always flex their watches. They flex their chains. They go to UCLA to play against them. While they're in the game, somebody snuck into the locker room. Somebody took all flocked the locker room and booked them. Wow. Like, and if you go and see uh-huh. any videos before this, Watches. They all got buzz downs. They all today. got buzz downs. Yeah, 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 all yeah, got yeah, jury, yeah, bro. Don't come to LA. And, and LA. a lot of them are from Mississippi yeah. and stuff. He took like all his team and took them to Colorado. That's so most like, people hate, got got. They hate him in Mississippi right now because he, he they, like uh, because, because they up. came out here and got robbed. No, nah, because he left. He left Jackson. Oh, they hate Deion Sanders. Yeah, Deion Sanders came to Jackson. He turned the city up like for a year. Like we was like one of the best teams. And, and then he dipped to a white school. And then now everybody's like, yeah, they, yeah. He was a part of what SWAT or something. Yeah, he got yeah. his money and was gone. But was this what this what I this what I blame it on. Divide and conquer. <laughs> I blame I blame it on this. Deion Sanders came. He could have took a bigger job off the rip. He came because the rap world during the pandemic, all the Black Lives Matter stuff was, hey, tell our athletes to go to black colleges ABC, and we're gonna sponsor. You know I mean, we gonna make sure it's right for them. So they probably wasn't spending that money how they needed to spend the money in order to obtain all of these athletes. You get what I'm saying? And that Dion, like, look, I could go somewhere that got scallies and all that for these people that, you know what I mean, where they could live comfortably in college and be a college student. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Take care of my players. So like, y'all to, getting yeah, the money. They didn't want to take care so of they players. they didn't want to do it, so he went to Colorado. So do you see it as being kind of, like, backhanded and disloyal for him? To nah, and like business. It's business, business. Business is business. Business is business. Nah, I business. gave you a shot. He didn't leave because, like, hey, I got these people talking the right way. You know what I mean? All right, uh, sidebar. Let's go hypothetical for a second. <laughs> Let's say, that. all right, take a look at Desto Dub. He came up making clothes. He's, he's in that business and everything like that. Let's say that the whole time... That he's been making clothes. He's got a friend who's 
in South Central employing all, you know, mothers of people that we know in South Central. And th this is who prints his clothes. Yeah. And this guy's making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year off of producing all of the awful lot of cough syrup. Maybe he does a few other brands too. And then Dub starts to get bigger and bigger. He starts going to parties in Calabasas. All of a sudden, he's having a conversation with some fucking Jewish guy who's telling him, like, hey, man, I can do everything everything that you're making. I can make it 30% cheaper, and I can get it to you faster, and we have unbelievable customer support, et cetera. He gives him a, uh, an offer that basically, to you, you're listening to it. You're like, shit, all that. I could be making an extra couple hundred grand a year. I could be making an extra million a year. Yeah. Is he disloyal? No. No. That's business. You just you go that. back. I've done that. That happened to me. You go back. <laughs> hey, look. You go back and tell my Fuck tell your China. man's like, hey, hey, look. They can you do this for this? No, I, if you can't, I easy, I'm but what I'll do is what I'll do is okay. Look, I can't just jump shit with you right yeah. now because I'm locked in with this nigga for sure. But if you show me some shit, look. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you one piece. Show me how I go. Two pieces. Show me how I go. Oh, they rolling over here. So what I'm going to do is, all of this, I'm going to take over there, and I'm going to still leave you with, with something. Two, three pieces. You feel me? Like, yeah, you're going to still yeah, do yeah. something. But honestly, like, I'm making way more money, and it's like, if this is going to elevate me and my company more, you kind of holding me back by staying right here. Mm. You know, me being, him being over there at that other school, is now they're doing KFC commercials. Right. Over there, you were just on Instagram and say cheese and shit like that. The yeah. last name Sanders in the KFC commercial. I mean, that's what that. You, you could, Colonel you, Sanders. You could very easily, like, we all make that decision because you use T-shirts. Are they made by American Apparel here in Los Angeles? Probably not, or Los Angeles Apparel, whatever it's called now. Probably not because it's extremely expensive, and everybody that I know basically has their shirts made in China. Because no, I'm it's still like, LA Apparel. Shout out my nigga Dove. You no, really I do have them? You. Yeah, I still go to you LA. You fuck Apparel. with Dove. Yep, I fuck with the owner. You know him? I know him personally. You want me to FaceTime? Not right now, but in the future, sure. Um, that's tight. He was fucking all the hoes back in the day in Brooklyn. Um, I think he had some lawsuits related to really, that. Really, really ran something up to like 100 million plus. Right. Like, no, I just, I, that's what I see. But I'm saying like, wait, you really, you use shirts from them for the most part? Yep. It's like Our shirts are on LA Apparel. Yeah, well, you it's have the a, quality. You have a different price point than that's what I'm many saying. brands. Okay. But like for us, like we it could very we could very easily be making clothes, paying a brand in LA, and all the employees are like Mexican mothers from fucking LA. But we don't. We send that shit to China and we have them do it because it's just infinitely less expensive. So I mean we are kind of making those decisions on a consistent basis, you know? Yeah, but Deion Sanders didn't do it on no like whatever shit. It was just like, bro, it's business. I have a certain amount of time that I could be doing this. I'm trying to get probably to the NFL. NFL. So it's like even with Colorado, y'all better enjoy me while I'm here. It's like when you fucking with a bitch, you the bitch gotta know it's not about to be forever. Just enjoy it while we got it. Right. And let's not end on bad in terms. A, in a music sense, even run DMC didn't sign. Russell Simmons, and that's his own brother. Mm. They signed with Profile Records, a Jewish-owned label, right? Uh, because that's who had the resources for them at the time, right? And Def Jam, you know, came out afterwards, right? So. But so, how does this augment LA's reputation as the flocking capital of the universe when everybody Don't begins their LA. shit taken, including? Mm -hmm. In sacred places that you would think would be well guarded, like a the college Rose fucking Bowl. locker. Oh, that was on them. This they was, was they the were slacking. Bowl. They was that was on them. Like I, I'm kind of disappointed because it's like room? with y'all all. That's, on, who? Lot of That's on the players. It's on the no, players. it's on the staff. That's on the it's staff? on the security at the building, we, right? We grade eight, nigga. This prime time. Where else we are the players gonna leave that so shit? Y'all are college. Y'all are still students. Hold up, y'all are students. But what I'm saying is, it doesn't matter. You are responsible for your shoes or nothing should come up missing during this this match. No. As to, far as lawsuits it. and all that, you are 100% right. But as far as being a nigga, I don't give a fuck mm -hmm. where I'm going, bro. You're not leaving your shit. Like, I'm thinking about this right now. But where should he have put it? Right? What are the other options? The if you leave it in the hotel, you're going to get robbed. No, they had it in a locker room. Yeah. But is the, the locker, locker room, room probably? the field that they're playing at. So I'm just saying, bro, I leave an Airbnb, bro. I'm leaving somebody there or I'm taking it. Like, you know what I mean? That's what I was about to say. They really need to put their pieces on somebody that worked there. If they're not going to wear or them in the game, put in locker all room, the coaches and all that need to have say, You need to have other. somebody that's in the locker or room the whole safe. time, bro. Yeah, yeah. This is an easy look. If I'm the janitor and I'm walking in this motherfucker while they playing... And there's nobody here? Shit. Like, there's nobody. And no cameras. It's a locker room. Nobody, no cameras. 
It's over with. Man, the homies yeah. be boogieing. You know the homies is just thirsty, period. I don't That's even know who it was. Who I ain't saying you know who did it. Homies, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Tell hell us who no. did it. Hell Break, no. Don't no, tell no. Us who did it. I don't think that was on our side. I would have seen it. We would have been seen it. We would have seen it. Them niggas, too, we too flashy. They would have oh, been Oh, they're going to find out. It wasn't on our side. I think it was on some other shit. No, but this is what we should do is we should take bets on what. Sneaky, bro. Let's take bets on what neighborhood they're going to be from. No, I don't think it's a neighborhood. I think it was some sneaky ass white boys, bro. Well, they, they, they still gotta be from I a neighborhood. Was, nah, hell no. Nah. Over there, you <laughs> I feel bro, like you ain't never met no sneaky ass fucking white boy who don't gotta be like what and he just taking shit. It was a football mm. fan that came up with it. It don't matter what side they from. He's a football fan that follows Coach Prime, like, oh, they in here. Why would you assume that though? I assume it's just somebody wanted like to get some money. They was in Pasadena, so nigga, it was probably the Pasadena. Oh, nigga, it was in Pasadena. The PDLs. Okay. Oh, that's where it was at? It wasn't at UCLA? It was at the Rose Bowl. <laughs> oh, it was at the Rose Bowl. It was at the Rose Bowl. Oh, y'all over there? Yeah. Just leaving y'all shit in the locker room? Man, them niggas that's been stupid. breaking in the Rose Bowl their whole life. The swimming pool and all that, man. Y'all, I'm <laughs> thinking they over there in Westwood. Nah. All right. Has any of you ever been to like a high end gym, like an Equinox or you anything ask me like, that? Shit like that? Stupid shit like that. Is this stupid? Because I go to Equinox. Gym, you, okay, he goes. He to said, Equinox. "Look at him. You talk uh, about a gym." Oh, he said that about looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nigga, All right. If you go to an Equinox, mm-hmm. do you feel comfortable leaving your, your chain in your backpack when you fucking put it in the? No, you don't. Because to me, Fuck I feel man. like this is a higher end. Clientele. That's where you're gonna get booked. I'm at. assuming that they're probably they've got my back and they're gonna be monitoring this shit so that I'm not getting my shit stolen. That being said, I've never had like an expensive thing that I was carrying around with me everywhere I went, so I don't really even know what that would feel like. But you would leave under your armor. And and Honestly, it taught their ass a lesson. Stop being so flashy while you at work. Okay, if I had twenty grand in cash, mm-hmm. because I would never have a fucking twenty thousand dollar necklace, but let's say I had twenty grand in cash, uh-huh. would I just leave? Well, but I guess I've left it in the hotel room when I'm like off doing shit in Vegas and stuff like that. I'll I'm leaving the hotel room, but they have safes in hotel rooms. But I don't, I'm not using the safe. I'm gonna forget the fucking code or something. Oh, I'm now just you leaving it in my. In Vegas. I just leave it in my backpack. I might tuck it in the closet or some shit. I'm not really thinking. But it's about a difference it. between one person and twenty people. You like if I know been. Mayweather is going to my. As gym, I say it, I realize how it. crazy it is. Yeah, my brother <laughs> got robbed for like eighteen thousand by the maid. Really? And uh, what did and, he do? We gangbangers. We couldn't go to court. So you killed her. Nah, <laughs> bro. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's crazy. Why is Laura laughing? I'm thinking like y'all went downstairs. <laughs> I'm like y'all May went downstairs and said died and in between time and. We tried to, we tried to, so, yeah, we yeah. tried to, but they like you got to go with the police, yeah, like oh, man. Yeah, but she ended up getting booked anyway, but they didn't give no money back because he wouldn't file no claim. Really? She ended up, yeah, she ended up going to jail just off of the cameras and all that, going into the room and violating it. I mean, but they wanted him to come testify to get his money back. Uh-huh. And he like, eh. Wow. And that's the only way he can get his money back? Is yeah, like, nigga ain't oh, testifying on this up. bitch. Like, come on, man. You can't that's testify out. against the maid? No. I'm I mean, tattling on the maid. You can't send a proxy? I, I Fuck mean, that maid. It's just like, we didn't catch, you didn't catch the bitch. Like, shit. Bruh. Fuck it. We got her full name. Yeah, Fuck first it. of all, they need, they need, I don't, I don't see how they, they need, they should keep a guard wherever they are. It's like a group of y'all. It's not one person. One person can sleep through the cracks. You know what I mean? It's like, mm-hmm. how many people on the team? And I, over 10 or 12 of y'all have jury and watches. Somebody needs to stay in the locker room. What if another player stole it? Job. Even at, if, when what you if go, another player stole it, though? <laughs> no, nah, they were all, I don't think it was. I think night. it was either, P, it was out somebody from Pasadena yeah. or probably like some sneaky motherfucker that worked there that just seen an open it, window. It, it's genius, too, because it's like the average college football team is not going to really have anything worth taking, but this is the team that was balling yeah. out of control. So yeah. it's somebody who was actually like able to put the pieces together. Was... And they got all of them without pulling out a gun. And honestly, just It don't even many... matter. It's That's commercial burglary. It. They will do, if they get caught, they will do two years with half, eight, 16 months with half. Mm. They're looking at the low. They're going to get the probation maximum. with the right lawyer. Honestly, it's crazy because this <laughs> probably happens a lot. And you'll never hear about it because it's never a team with this much jury. Like, you know how many players probably go somewhere and their car get poked, their door probably got, you know, shit like that. But you ain't going to hear about it because it's so small. You know what I mean? Yeah, but well, whole locker room getting hit, hit different. College, sure college kids are, are known to be broke, so you, you never it's think about that play. Oh. You got to think this is new. Oh, I forgot about college. College, you getting booked. Uh-huh. Yeah. You falling asleep at somebody's shit, your shit gone. Tell them, Doug, we didn't like, went through What? Here. Let me stop talking. Oh, 